Hi, I'm Chef Raphael and welcome to another episode. Make sure you subscribe so that you're notified whenever I have a new recipe out. My show is all about bringing cooking back and basically making you a better home cook. Today's recipe is delicious. It's a pumpkin lemongrass uh, soup. Um, it has a hit of chili because I've put some chili. I'm serving it with some fresh white baguette uh, which I've applied some blue band and I'm also using the blue band canola oil. Let's get started and you see how simple it is to make it. So welcome to today's show. Now for the ingredients of the pumpkin soup, um, I have the pumpkin that I've, I've already cut, I've already peeled. I have one and a half um, onion, one large one and one other one that is half. You can also use two. It, it, when, one thing I always say about the onion, the more the better. Uh, I have two cloves of garlic. I have uh, a red pepper that I've cut, like half. Um, I have chilies, uh, red chili. It's optional, but again, we are making a spiced, a spicy, uh, a flavored um, soup. But also, whatever is gonna make it very interesting is the lemongrass. Um, again, if you don't have lemongrass or you don't like chili, all those are interchangeable. I'm also going to use some uh, broccoli that I had in the fridge that were going bad, as in they're not as fresh. And that's one thing about the soup. The soup is something you can use. Uh, ingredients especially vegetables that that are not so fresh looking are not no not necessarily rotten but not as fresh but of course whenever you're making it's the, your intention should be using freshest of ingredients so that's all the ingredients um, for the soup I'm also going to use the oil um, the canola oil from Luband salt and pepper now let's start with the frying of the vegetables so you need to add oil. Now when it comes to frying, you're not going to fry them until they are uh, brown. You just want to make them soft. And I'm going to add all the vegetables together, including the peppers. Again, peppers is optional, uh, but it also wants, you also want to add some body to the soup. The broccoli and the, the Pumpkin, I'm going to add it after a few minutes of the frying. So again, whenever you're doing this, it's just to make them soft. Um, I've cut the peppers into big chunks. It's fine because I'm going to uh, blend the soup. And while this is happening, let me cut the pumpkin. Now for the pumpkin, after peeling, just make sure all the peels are finished. Cut them into chunks, big chunks. Or not so big, but for that matter, like cubes, but equal in size. Now for the lemon grass. Cut them into small pieces, like you would do the onion. And I've used one stalk, one small piece like this. I'm not going to add the whole of it because you don't want too much of it. So it's just a small amount because it's a very strong flavor. And stuff. I have the onion, I have the garlic, I have the chili. Salt and pepper. I love pepper so I usually tend to put a lot but it's up to you in terms of quantity. And one tip that I can also add to this um, recipe as you make, 
is that you can also use uh, margarine whenever you're frying it you can use a little bit of the oil a little bit of the margarine margarine tends to add some more flavor um, so the same way you'd use butter you can use butter as well um, together with the oil uh, here we are using blue band the blue band has a flavor uh, to it um, which will actually make the soup delicious it will add to the flavor but when you're doing both you make you, have, you need to make sure that you don't add too much of a either you have to use less of oil and a little bit of the margarine you're using both don't put the same amount of oil and this note and then you add on top to that uh, the margarine so now the vegetables are browned i mean they are soft they are fried i'll add a little bit more of the salt and one thing i almost forgot the broccoli now this soup by itself it will be too orange when I when you add something green like the broccoli and I'm go, not going to add too much of it. Um, we don't want it to be a green soup, so just a small amount. And like I said, this is one way of literally getting rid of vegetables, like all vegetables or vegetables that you're not, you feel they're not, no, they will not look fresh, especially if you're cooking them by themselves. So. And the other thing, whenever you're doing soup, you want to add bulk into it. So the more vegetables you add, on, like in this case, the pumpkin has some bulkiness in the soup. This would be perfect. Now you can always add stock. Uh, many recipes for soup say you add uh, chicken stock or beef stock, but whenever I've been making soup, I always find just adding water is perfect, is enough. Now the amount of water, the trick is, when you're adding water, just add enough to cover the vegetables. It should be just enough to be on the level of the vegetables. Whenever you cook and then it's too much, let's say it's, um, if the vegetables are at this point and then the water is at this point, that soup will be too light. So the trick is just make sure the amount of vegetables you have, you have cooked, whichever pot you've used, it should just cover the vegetables. It's better to have less water because you can always add it to the finished soup rather than having more water and there's no way of reducing the amount of water whenever the soup is ready. Cover and let it boil. When it starts boiling, we're going to reduce the heat um, so that it comes to a simmer and the simmering will take anything from 15 about 15 minutes but it also depends with how basically want your vegetables and in this case the pumpkin which is the hard one to be cooked and we'll just need to um, check by when it's cooked by just cutting it into it and if it's mushy it's perfect so about 15 minutes for it to simmer after it starts boiling so it's been about 15 minutes now I can tell it's ready because I can see it's mashed. Remember, we talked of the pumpkin is the one that is the one will take the longest to cook. You just need to press a cut into it. And if it's soft, it's cooked. You don't need to boil it or let it simmer for even longer than 15 minutes. Even if it takes 10 minutes and it's already soft, there's no need to keep on letting it simmer. And then it's always a good idea, even before or even while you are cooking, before blending, taste it. Wow. Taste the seasoning, perfect. I love the chili part. Not too much. I also can taste a hint of, of, um, of the lemongrass. I can taste a hint of the pumpkin. And all those, right now they are, because I've not fully blended it, when I blend it now I'll taste the pumpkin. Pumpkin is usually sweet, so that sweetness and the chili, and the chili part um, is actually a good combination. I'm also looking forward to the full flavor of the lemongrass because when you blend it now it will be fully immersed into the soup. 
Now, one thing I can advise if you do not like too much chili is don't blend the chili. You can always remove it because like the way I added it here, I can see it and I can remove it before blending it. And that will reduce the heat. And now when it comes to blending, uh, which is what I'll do next, is make sure you, when you're blending it, don't you don't have to put the whole amount into a blender. It depends on the size of your blender. And it's always a good idea to let it cool down. And blending will just, it will be all about blending it until it's smooth and then returning it back to the pot for it to, to come back to a simmer so that it will be ready to serve. So I've blended it and it's perfect. And um, the consistency is the main thing. Now, this is a good consistency. It's on the thick side and it's actually thicker, especially when you blend everything. That's the thing when, about blending and soup. Um, if you have a good blender and you blend everything together, you have this consistency. And this is what I was saying about the water. If you had too much water, way more than the, the level of the vegetables, this soup would have been too light. And, it's, and if you want it lighter, you'd rather add water after blending it to make it lighter to your liking, rather than it being too light than, than it, is, it is right now, and you can't take it back. Now, when it comes to tasting, I tasted it before, before blending. Wow, perfect. This is perfect, especially in the cold season. Right now, when I'm making this video, it's actually cold. It has some warmth that it gives. So this is the perfect soup for this time. There's the heat from the chilies. Remember I said you can remove them and I actually did remove them, but I can still taste the, the heat from the chilies. Um, if I had blended it, it would have been more chillier. Yeah? But the, the reason why I would say you remove them because you don't want the chili to overpower the soup. I can taste the pumpkin. I can taste the hint of lemon from the lemongrass. So it's perfect and it's so simple. Remember, I'd also added some um, broccoli and peppers. Peppers is fine, but the broccoli now also gives nice bits of green into the soup. So, perfect. So when it comes to serving, into a bowl. Now serve it to your liking. This actually can be a complete meal, and that's the thing about soup. It can actually be a complete meal in terms of um, that's all you're having. Uh, especially like now I've also served it with um, some bread. Now one thing I need to mention about the bread, it's baguette, I've applied blue band margarine. Um, my opinion is that it should be plain uh, bread in terms of not toasted, no garlic butter or nothing, just plain bread with margarine. If you don't have margarine, you can also use butter. Uh, but the, the margarine also comes through because it has a nice flavor and it will be perfect accompaniment for the soup. And then when it comes to serving, you can either garnish it with some uh, lemongrass uh, sliced, lemongrass like that. The thing about this, because it's nice and creamy, you don't even need sauce, I mean uh, cream, don't need it to add creaminess to it, it's already nice. And I hope that's something that you have learned today. Uh, today's video again is brought to you by Blue Band um, Canola Oil and Blue Band Margarine. Um, buy them, use it when you're making your soup. It, it has the, 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 the flavor. Remember the canola oil is actually more nutritious than, um, uh, it's almost as nutritious as olive oil. Good thing about it, it doesn't have that strong flavor like the way you have the olive oil. The nutrition value is there. This one also has been fortified with vitamin, uh, with omega-3, 6, and 9. And uh, it's plant-based. So it's a good oil to try if you have not tried it. Uh, canola oil. And, and until next time, signing out. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Goodbye.